Hey guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new here. My name is Sydney and today's video is going to be a, a video all about me exposing how nasty some of my uh, makeup drawers are and B about shopping my stash. I thought it would be fun to come on camera and carry a little bit of a shop my stash basket with you guys. I don't shop my stash on a regular basis, at least not intentionally like this where I pull out the camera and like really dig through my drawers and pick out specific products. I'm pretty good at rotating through my products, um, but I have a little desk organizer that I keep a lot of makeup in that's kind of my go-to spot to grab products, and I thought it would be fun to revamp it a little bit since it's starting to be more springtime versus winter, so I thought I would bring you guys along for the ride and we kind of dig through my makeup drawers. So without further ado, let's hop into it. You guys hear some screaming outside. There are some kids playing in front of my apartment, so... You're not going crazy. I had someone comment on a video a couple of months ago. Um, they could hear like kids screaming in the video and they like had to pause it and see if it was their own kids, but I promise it's not. There's just kids outside. But to kick it off, I think I want to pull out this Laura Geller powder. I got this from Marshalls or TJ Maxx a little while ago. It's the Baked Balance and Glow Illuminating Foundation. I, I mean, I've really been on the glowy train for quite a long time and I feel like maybe this would have been a little bit better to pull out in the winter time, but Throughout the winter, I've kind of just like given up setting my face. I just feel like I don't really need it. So now that it's springtime, I will start to get a little bit more oily. So I think maybe this would be a good product to pull out to just kind of lightly set my face um, so things don't really like slip and slide around so much. So I'm going to pull this product out. I'm also going to pull out my e.l.f. Jelly, Prop, Jelly Pop Dew Primer. I really love this primer, you guys. I've been using my Honest Beauty Primer, but I'm really crossing my fingers that I'm going to be able to roll that out of my uh, project pan very, very soon. I'll link my most recent update if you guys want to catch up on that series. But I'm going to throw this one in because I really love it and I feel like it's really good for like the summer and the springtime because it really like grips my makeup. So I'm going to throw this into my Little Shop My Stash basket as well. And I think that's going to be it for this first complexion drawer. Actually... You know, I also want to pull out this Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation. I've been using the concealer like nonstop pretty much ever since I bought it. I think I'm on like my third tube, but I've kind of put this foundation away recently and I want to pull it back out and switch out some of the other ones that I have um, in my like main makeup organizer or the one that I'm reaching out of the, the most at least. All right, you guys, next up we've got kind of my like face, no, more like my cheek product drawer. So here's the deal. I have been on a cream product kick for the past, I don't know, like six to eight months and I haven't really touched a lot of my powder products but I really want to start getting better about working some of them back into my routine even if I'm not using them like on their own if I'm just using them in conjunction with cream products. So I would like to pick a couple within like using them in mind as like top three shades. So the first thing that really caught my attention is this ColourPop Super Shock Cheek. This is the shade Vacancy. This is the most gorgeous like corally springy tone. I have like a cool tone bubblegum pink cream blush in my project pan right now. So I'm not really sure how these would pair together. But once I get that out, I would love to switch to more like springy cheek colors. And I feel like this really fits the bill. Ooh, I'm also kind of thinking that I want to throw this Naked Cosmetics, um... I think this is called like the holographic highlighter palette in i've been into kind of playing around with my highlighter lately and i like cannot get away from that color pop light six that if you guys have watched any of my instagram story get ready with me's i swear this is like that's the only like highlighter that i've used lately but i think these would be really fun to layer over top of it especially since these don't have like a ton of like glow to them they just give more so that tint so i think this might be like a really good product to pair with that and I think I want to throw in one of these Kaleidos Glow Blushes. Yeah, let's go with this one. This one is called Rose Gold. Again, it's another really gorgeous, like, peachy, corally shade. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, shimmery blush. Actually, let me pull out the other shades because I feel like they're all pretty similar, but one of them is, like, much deeper. I think this is Cherry Gold. Yeah, that one's much deeper. That kind of gives me, like, a sunburnt look, which is cute. Ooh, okay. I think this is the one we're going to stick with for now. This is peach gold. This one's just a little bit lighter. And since I am ghostly pale right now, I need the lighter one. Those two are really pretty, like, in the summertime when I get, like, just the barest hint of a tan. But I think I'm going to throw this one in for now to add some glow to my cheeks. And I think that's going to be it from this drawer. Let's hop into the next one. Oh, this drawer is such a mess, you guys. It's, it's something. I feel like I've tried to, like, 
organized this so many times and every time I do it just ends up being a disaster like a week later. Anyways, this is like my single eyeshadow, cream shadow, eye primer, eyeliner drawer. A good chunk of the eye products that are like eyeliners and mascaras and all of that kind of live in my desk makeup organizer. So this is kind of just like my overflow drawer. I'm pretty good about rotating these products in and out, but oh hey, there's a lip gloss. I've been looking for this lip gloss. Let me put that back in the basket. Um, but it's always good to be more intentional with my rotation. So, right off the bat, I see this little Vibrance Cosmetics shadow. I did not use this as much as I thought I would, you guys. I won't lie. It's a really gorgeous, like, glittery jelly shadow. Oh, I hope it's not dried out. Oh, no. It's still super juicy. It's this beautiful blue color. Oh, my goodness. I feel like this would be such a fun color to pair with, like, a periwinkle springy eye so I'm gonna put this one into my little basket I'm also going to throw in should I throw in both of these I feel like those are more summery than springy I'm not sure I really want to throw those in I'm definitely gonna throw in this little quad from Colourpop I think this is called their petal play eyeshadow quad I'm not sure what oh it's berry more that's the variation of this um, it's a really, really gorgeous kind of soft eyeshadow palette. Flower Beauty sent me this um, just to test out a couple of months ago. I played with it a little bit and I wasn't like blown away, but that was also in the time that I was kind of really looking for super impactful eyeshadows and going for like super dramatic eye looks. So now that it's spring, I'm kind of thinking this might be a better like just soft, like easy breezy look kind of palette. I don't know. I'm going to throw this one in as well. Ooh. I'm also going to throw in this e.l.f. X J Kissa liquid eyeshadow duo. The chartreuse shade is so, so pretty. I feel like this shade and I had some issues. I don't know. I remember having some sort of issues with this little duo, but I can't remember what quite they were. So I need to test this out again and decide if it's going to stay in my collection, but I feel like these shades are so pretty and so fun for spring. Ooh, let's pull this baby out too. This is from Pixie Beauty. It's one of their liquid glitter shadows. This one's in the shade Mirage. This is such a springy shade, you guys. Like, this is L'Oreal Amber Rush on steroids. I've really been trying to get back into the habit this week especially of, like, wearing makeup just for fun. I, I wear makeup for fun, but I always end up filming with it. So it's rare that I just take... 10, 20 minutes to just do my makeup for me to feel put together, feel ready to take on the day. And I feel like that's what I need to start doing because honestly I've been struggling a little bit mental health wise, but I think this would be a really fun shadow. Like glitter always makes me feel better. So I'm gonna throw this one in for like a quick two shadow super glittery eye. And then I think the final item I'm gonna grab out of here is this cream shadow from Sydney Grace. It's in the shade Mini Petty. I don't know if you guys can see in that little window right there. That's the color of this product and the light's gonna change. I apologize, you guys. I'm using completely natural light right now, so it's going to fluctuate. It's a little cloudy today. We're just gonna power through it, but thank you for your patience with that. Um, but this is the color. It's a very neutral, natural kind of color, and I'm currently trying to hit 25 uses on my Sydney Grace Tiny Marvels palette, as well as the Menagerie Cosmetics Feral palette, and I feel like this color would really pair nicely with those palettes. So, with this product, I'm calling this drawer complete. Alright, it seems like the sunlight is back. So, this is kind of my glitter pigment eyeliner <laughs> drawer. And I think I want to pull out this really gorgeous blue shade. This is Cry, no, this is Prance from ColourPop. It's one of their creme gel liners. And I think I kind of want to pull out the yellow too. I feel like that would be a fun shade for spring. This one is called Punch. And then I think the only other thing I'm going to grab out of this drawer for now is the pigment from ColourPop called the Ram. This is a really, really gorgeous kind of fiery coral pigment. I always say that this is going to be like my summer shade, but I find myself in the summer going for like more like just laid back tones. This is very much like an in your face shade when you put it on your eyes. So I'm thinking maybe springtime I'll use it a little bit more. So I'm going to throw it in. And I think for now that's it for this drawer. Alright guys, so here we have my somewhat nude, neutral, pinky lip drawer. This was at one point very organized and now it's just really really not um so first off i see this beautiful super bright corally shade this is from aoa studio i really need to make up my mind about this whether or not i want to keep it this is in the shade blessed it's the most gorgeous coral 
but I've really realized that I'm just not a bold lippy kind of girl. So I need to figure out whether or not I want to keep this and if I like this format. So I'm going to put this in the basket. Okay, I'm also going to grab these two lip glosses. This one from Persona is called Coral, as the color would suggest. And this one is a lip icing from Pixie called Bon Bon. Both really, really gorgeous shades I use a lot in the springtime. You know what, let's also throw in this tinted lip balm from e.l.f. It's called Orange Crush. I know I'm throwing in like a lot of coral lippies, but they are my favorite to wear in the spring and summer. And I think they pair really well with spring and summery looks. Okay, I feel like we need to throw in a cooler toned option since like most of what we've chosen so far is very warm toned. I know this isn't cruelty free, but I bought it before I went cruelty free, which probably means I shouldn't be using it anymore. But this is the Maybelline Matte Lipstick in the shade Lust for Blush. It's a really gorgeous kind of like... I feel like this is a springy berry. That's how I would describe it. So I'm going to throw this one in as well. And that is it for the nudie neutral lip drawer. All right, let's dive into my more bold lip drawer. This drawer doesn't get a lot of love because as I said, I'm just more of a neutral lippy gal. Um, first, right off the bat, I really want to grab this ColourPop lip liner. It's in the shade Frenchie. I got it as like a freebie like a year or two ago, I think. And I just haven't given it a lot of love, but I'm thinking with all those corally um, lip glosses, this might be a nice little companion product to amp things up and maybe define my lips a little bit more. Okay, <laughs> this purple Lorac lip crayon is also really calling to me. I got this one in a boxy charm several years ago, but I feel like this is always, oh yeah, this is way vampier than I thought it would be. I was expecting it to be more of this orchid color that's on the cap or the end of it, but it's really not, so... Maybe we'll grab this e.l.f. matte lip color. This is probably my favorite berry that I have in my collection. It's a little deep, but I think it could be fun with some springy looks. Oh, you know what? Actually, instead of that e.l.f. product, I want to throw in this Physician Formula Liquid Lip Formula. Or Liquid Lip. <laughs> Healthy Lip Formula. Is that what this is called? I can't even remember anymore. This one's in the shade Vitamin Beat. Physicians Formula is no longer considered cruelty free, so I don't purchase from them anymore, but I purchased this last year when they were cruelty free, so just a little disclaimer in there, but this is a really gorgeous berry shade. And I think that's going to wrap up with this drawer, guys. Okay, so the final drawer that we have to go through is my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow Drawer. And I'm going to grab a couple of these to play with. The first one that I want to grab is this gorgeous, like, mint green shade called... I think it's called Special Delivery. It's so pretty. This is a gorgeous, like, springy mint shadow that I think will be so, so fun to play with. I also kind of want to grab this deep blue. I know it's not super springy. It's called Warrior, but I'm just feeling very called to it at the moment. So I'm going to grab this one as well. I'm also going to grab the shade called Sailor. This kind of just looks like a champagne, but it has a really, really pretty like blue shift to it. I really want to get better at trying those like almost one shadow looks with like a sheer wash of just like glitter. But I always kind of hate how they look on my eyes because if I don't put eye primer down, my eyes are very like veiny and they're just, they have a lot of like uneven pigmentation. So I feel like whenever I do that, it just looks weird on my eyes because they're not evenly pigmented. But I'm going to try it with this shade and see how I like it. And I think that's it for this drawer as well. I was going to drag my whole palette card out here, but I think I'm just going to grab a couple palettes, come back and talk about them. And then we can kind of move this video along. Alright guys, so I kind of grabbed more palettes than I originally planned, but it's fine. I get so excited about eyeshadow, it's my favorite part of makeup, so when I was like, ooh, let's go pick out some palettes, I went a little nuts. But to kick it off with, I'm going to start off with the ColourPop Uh -huh Honey palette. I won this in a giveaway a while ago, and I really love this palette. It's really good for like really soft, yellowy looks, but there's really no depth to this palette, so... I don't love using it on its own, but again, I'm kind of throwing this in with that mindset of I'm going to get more into the habit of wearing makeup every day for me, not necessarily because I'm going to create this spectacular look. It's just going to be because it makes me happy. It makes me feel good. Kind of along those same lines, I threw in the Huda Beauty Nude Light Palette. I always feel like a million bucks every time I wear this palette. I always feel so, so good, and that's honestly what I need in my life right now, so I pulled this one out. It's a really quick palette to create an eye look with. I feel like there's only really a couple different directions you can take this palette in, which 
most of the time I would say is a bad thing, but in this instance I feel like it's a really good thing because it can be very mindless and very quick. I guess we're having a little Huda party this month, um, or this season. I'm also pulling out my Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde palette. Springtime is when I feel like this palette really just shines because these tones are very... They're very ethereal in my opinion, and honestly this palette doesn't have a lot of depth. That's a huge, huge con for me, and a huge reason why I didn't purchase it when it came out. Um, I only purchased it because it was on sale and I was placing an order on their website and it was like a semi-regret purchase, but it's fine. <laughs> I'm going to learn to love this palette. Um, there goes the sun again. But I really thought this would be great for the springtime because I feel like it's really a palette made for quick, soft looks and so that's what I plan to do with it. Okay, next up we have the Berries and Cream palette from Dominique Cosmetics. Now, you're going to look at this palette and be like, okay, this is so deep, it's so unlike the other palettes that you've mentioned, and you're right. But, I just feel like this is the perfect winter to spring transition palette. I feel like the deeper tones lend themselves to be a little bit more wintry. If I'm having a day where it's snowing outside, or I just feel like I want winter tones back, I've got some deeper tones in here, but also it's got some really nice, beautiful springy tones. This purple right here, so, so beautiful. Um, like these taupey shades, this gorgeous matte, like, pinky cream shadow is really gorgeous. I love this, like, deep, plummy brown shadow. Gorgeous. So, that's why I threw this. Next up, we have the Strawberry Shake palette from ColourPop. I mean, like, this is spring in a palette. It's gorgeous. I love, love, love these rosy tones on my blue eyes. I think they are absolutely gorgeous. And when I saw this one, I just couldn't say no. Orange You Get Lad from ColourPop is kind of the same story. Again, this is one that I feel like I'm always like, oh, I'm going to use this so much in the summertime, but then summer rolls around and I just want something that's a little less, like, bam in your face. And I just want to look like a glowy bronze natural goddess. So I'm pulling this out in the springtime in hopes that I'll get a little more use out of it. And finally, we have the So Jaded palette from ColourPop. This is a big old palette, you guys. Um, I'm hoping to do a video soon about me kind of rearranging this palette. I just have to find a magnet big enough in my apartment to pop these shadows out. But I feel like this palette has just sat kind of neglected in my collection for far too long. I've seen so many gorgeous looks created with this palette, you guys. If you have a lot of ColourPop palettes and you're kind of lacking inspiration, um, go check out, I believe her name is Roxanne... Ramona on Instagram or Roxanne's Makeup. I will link her account down below. She's an awesome friend on there. She creates so many palettes or so many looks with her color pop palettes and I just go to her page and I'm like, oh, like why did I stop using this palette? I could have been creating all these gorgeous looks this entire time. So pulling this one out to make myself use it a little more. But I think that's going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Again, I know the light was kind of all over the place. Please just bear with me. My studio lights, I feel like, are not big enough or powerful enough to really function well on their own in this kind of, like, overhead setting. So I'm really dependent upon natural sunlight, and today it was just a little bit all over the place. But let me know what products you've pulled out from your stash recently that you just, like, kind of refall in love with. I'm really hoping I'll refall in love with a lot of these products. But that's it for me today. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button before you leave. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!